Hello, good morning everyone, respected teachers and my dear friends. Today I stand here to speak about Jansi Lakshmi Bai. Jansi Lakshmi Bai was an unforgettable female warrior in Indian history. Rani Lakshmi Bai was born on 19th November in 1828 Kasi. She was also named as Manu Bai in her childhood. Her father's name was Moropan Tambe and her mother's name was Bagirati Bai. In May 1842, Manu got married with Raj Gangadhar Rao Nivalkar, Maharaja of Chansi. In 1851, she gave birth to one kid named Damodar Rao. But he died when he was just four months old. Thus, Gangadhar Rao adopted one child in 1853 and named him as Damodar Rao. But Lord Dalhousie declined adoption under the doctrine of lapse and announced merger of Jansi into English state. But Rani Lakshmi Bai did not want Jansi to be an English state. At that time, the British Empire was gradually occupying India. After the death of Gangadhar Rao, the, the desire to merge Jansi into British Empire became strong. Even after the death of her husband, Rani Lakshmi Bai did not lose her courage and started taking the whole responsibility of Chansi. Rani Lakshmi Bai formed a women, small women army. She fought valiantly against British. She faced the British forces with her small army and showed great courage in the battlefield. She tied her adopted son Dwamodar Rao behind her back and started destroying the British army. Still, she was badly injuring. When her horse was trying to cross a wide rivulet of British army, one soldier pierced his sword towards Jan Rani Lakshmi Bhai. We lost one of the great female freedom fighter on 18th June 1858. She had left this world, but she ignited the war of independence among other Indians. Jhansi Lakshmi Bhai was an unforgettable female warrior ever. She tried her best to get India free from Britishers. She is a great woman and warrior who sacrificed her life to get independence. Thanks for giving this opportunity to speak about Jansi Lakshmi Bhai.